Hello. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over how to install the portal gun for Gary's Mod. First things first, you'll notice that I am running on a Windows operating system. If you run it on a Mac or Linux or other operating system, know that your portals may not render correctly. And this is an issue that we are trying to fix, but currently do not have the resources to solve. You can still use the portal gun if you're running on Mac or Linux, but it won't look the same. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so to install the portal gun, you're going to open up your web browser. You can also do this in game. Basically, you're going to navigate to the page of Aperture Science handheld port device, scroll down to the green subscribe button and click it. You might also notice on this web page there's a description with a few notes which will describe to you how to effectively use your portal gun, as well as a few con bars. Make sure to read this before posting if you have any bugs. There's nothing more annoying than someone who doesn't read the README and posts about bugs. Speaking of bugs, I will be going over a few and how to fix them during this video. So once you subscribe to that add-on, go ahead and launch Gary's Mod. Okay, so now we're in Gary's Mod. We're going to click Start a New Game, select Single Player, pick our map, Make sure that the game mode is in Sandbox or Trouble in Terrace Town. Make sure you're not playing in multiplayer because currently Portal Gun is not supported for multiplayer and it is somewhat buggy, but you are free to play it if you'd like. And select the Start Game button. Okay, so now that we're in the game, you're going to go to the Weapons. It's going to be under Aperture Science, and you're going to select Portal Gun. If the Aperture Science category or the Portal Gun are not there, that means that you have a completing add-on. Make sure that this is the only portal gun that you have installed. Now when we place two portals, you'll see that they are completely white. This is not desirable. In fact, this is an issue caused by DirectX level 8.0 or below. You can confirm that your DirectX is at this level by going to Options, Video, Advanced. And in the bottom where it says Hardware DirectX Level, you'll see DirectX 8.0. Not software, but hardware level. If this is in fact below 9.0, you will have this issue. Also note that if you're on a Macintosh, these won't be here. And instead of white, it will be black. We are unaware of what is causing that error, but I'm quite certain that it's because Macintosh does not use DirectX, but instead OpenGL. But anyway, to fix this issue, we're going to have to close Gary's Mod. Okay, so now we're back on our desktop. You're going to open up your Steam library, go to Gary's Mod, right click and select Properties. Then under Set Launch Options, you're going to type the following dash D X L E V E L, so that is dash D X level with a space and a 90. Press OK, close. And launch Gary's Mod. Okay, so now that we're in Gary's Mod, you might have to change your resolution. And to do that, you're going to go to Video and select the resolution that is labeled as Native. Sometimes this happens when you change your DirectX level. And if it continues to happen, you're going to remove the launch option from your launch options, and it will stay in DirectX level 90. Okay, so now that we're in a new game. Let's just pull up the portal gun again and show you that with the new DirectX level, you can easily see into the portal just as you should be able to. If you change DirectX level, you'll probably notice that you have a bit lower FPS. You might want to reduce some of your other settings to accommodate for this. Now, if we place two portals in a wall like this, you'll see that it's kind of weird. This is an error that is not caused by DirectX. In fact, certain maps, every player will have to run this certain console command in order to fix this. If you haven't already, enable your console by opening Options, Advanced, Enable Developer Console. Select OK, OK, close the Escape menu, and then you're going to press the tilde key. This looks like a little squiggly. Now if you open up the console, we're going to type the following R underscore N O V I S space 
one and press enter close the console and when you launch a couple portals you'll see that everything is as it should be also note that if you're running on a server you're going to have to type sv underscore cheats followed by a space and a one in order to be able to run r underscore novice only the server owner can do this and it is not recommended if you're a server owner who can't trust his players next we're going to go over a few of the console variables to customize your portal gun one of the common issues with the portal gun is that the arm on the portal gun does not have the right texture this is caused if you don't have portal 2 like I don't you can fix this by typing portal underscore arm 0 the arm will no longer be visible another option is to change the portal projectile speed by default it is 3500 but if you want your portal projectiles to travel really fast or almost instantly you can increase the number to a very large number or if you want them to move slowly you can decrease it if you're playing without portal like I am you won't be able to pick up certain props because they're not a portal or portal 2 prop listed as a specific prop that the portal gun is allowed to pick up if you don't want this setting to be true you can change portal underscore limit carry to zero you can now pick up any prop which is of a reasonable size next if you're having low frames per second because of a portal you can prevent these portals from even rendering by doing portal underscore render zero now the portals will render in either a blue or orange color if you are having very low FPS this might be an alternative to having no portals at all you can also remove the borders but this will only increase your FPS by a little amount so you should probably only do this if it is a last effort you can change the type of borders with portal underscore beta underscore borders to one or zero with portal beta borders you have a swirly kind of border and a swirly center with regular you have more of a default classic look swirliness are created by Dr. Awesome thank you very much Dr. Awesome lastly as another cool feature there is dynamic lighting available for the portal gun to enable this type portal underscore dynamic lighting with a one you see that the portals now have quite a glow to them however this can decrease your FPS by quite a bit so it is not recommended that you run it well thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy the portal gun just as much as we have enjoyed making it for you I give credit to Matt Salagi to Mahalis and to Black Ops as well as Dr. Awesome for helping create this amazing add-on and for helping me bring it to you. This is Bobblehead, and I hope you enjoy what we've created for you. Thank you.